Hey, so um, I've ported the plugin to 4.22 preview, um, and it ported pretty seamlessly. There's not that much in the way of changes, so I decided I'd look out some at uh, some of the things I've been wanting to look into recently. Um, obviously, um, better skeletal knuckle support is one of those, but uh, engine's kind of in limbo at the moment between Valve and Epic, and I haven't decided to fully commit to rewriting a lot of stuff for that until I get some feedback from them, so that's on hold for now. So I thought I'd go over a couple of recent changes. Uh, one, the dial has been switched over so it works more like a lever. It works off of total hand rotation now, not just off of wrist rotation. It should be more useful. Um, two, well, I'll note that I'm running this right now in a dedicated server since that works since 4.19, I believe, where you can run in VR with a dedicated server checked. And I'm simulating 300 milliseconds of lag. And there's been a problem since 4.20 where they added the new physics replication from Fortnite where you get some unstable physics replication, um, most notably in dedicated servers where things will slide around like this. There's no reason for that to have been moving like that. And sometimes they'll get where something will move long after it should be moving and do weird things like that because of how it's uh, lurping to its new state on the new physics replication. And I was looking into that to try to figure out why stuff's going wrong with that. I saw something interesting where the new physics replication interface is overwritable, and it's overwritable from any module. So I can say overwrite it from the VR expansion module and add my own custom phys physics replication to the engine. Now, I didn't feel like going that far with it yet because looking into it, theirs is actually pretty robust, and I decided I'd leave that alone for now. But what I can do is open another pathway into the physics replication and reuse parts of their code to create the same logic on the server when the client sends an update in. So I can turn something that's normally a um, server authoritative uh, physics replication into a client authoritative physics replication. So I'm simulating uh, 300 ms of lag here, which is quite noticeable. I mean, I grabbed that block the moment I grabbed it, and you can see it's a little over half a second of delay, which you know we get 300 there, 300 back. And when I go to throw this, since this is um, becomes server replicated on the throw, it's going to stop and then pull out from that drop position. Yeah, see? And um, that's kind of unavoidable if you're going to turn on replication again after you're done throwing something. So normally you either wouldn't replicate it, you'd run proxy objects, or um, you know, there's a bunch of other workarounds. But by reusing the physics replication, ignoring updates from the server, and sending our own transforms into the server for it to use and um, adjust to the same logic that the client uses, you can make completely client authoritative physics replication like this. There's no delay in throwing it. It just goes out on the server end. The server end gets the updates from us like we were um, sent, like it was sent it to us, and it adjusts position, and the gun will end up in the exact same spot as the server it, as it is on the client at rest. I cease doing the updates when the client hits either a sleep state, times out with uh, 10 seconds, because I figure most throws will never last longer than 10 seconds. If it's still trying to update something by then, then it's probably a conflict with another object that the client is that the server is moving, and I should cease updating at that point. Or if the position hasn't changed across frames more than a significant number. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So what that means is that you can have a client authoritative grip like this, which has no delay because this is already client authoritative. I'm ignoring server updates on it. Client's doing everything and telling the server about it. And you can also have client authoritative throwing on it. So you get instant throwing feedback and the server gets exactly the same result. This is naturally heavier than the other way around. 
is not only are we sending the updates out to the server, but then it is sending those updates back out to all the other clients. So you get one additional replication. And unfortunately, I cannot ignore the owning channel with this because you can't live switch that um, replication condition. I guess I could do that with the net graph, but um, that's probably overkill for this application. It doesn't matter that much. I'm only updating this at 30 hertz. Um, I was doing it at 60, but once I got everything working, I mean, it's pretty good at um, 30 hertz here. You're not getting any snapback where it has to catch up to the server after I'm done doing the updates. So it comes to a rest and just stays in position. Something that I am um, doing with this is, oh yeah, once it comes at rest, I do delay by your ping to the server for a moment. So once it hits there and it stops updating the server, it tells the server it's done. It will delay for the ping that I have to the server and back, the full round travel time. So that if the server replicates a new position, I'm waiting until the server has that last update from me before I start accepting data from the server again. That would be otherwise, you know, it'd come to a rest and with a 300 MS ping, it come at the ground. I'd say, okay, I'm going to start listening to the server again for its position. And then it go, I said, snap back to 300 MS in the past because that's the last update the server was giving it. So delaying it like that prevents that from happening. And I mean, it's working pretty good. Obviously, with the gun, it's pretty much instant, feels good, fluid, everything ends up where it's supposed to be. No issues. I grab the cube, which doesn't have that set on currently. It's a tick box right now. And you get the delayed input. You get the bad positions because it's waiting for the rep from the server. I mean, like I said, you'd have to work around it normally. And with this, you don't. It's just client authoritative. Um, I'm I'm really testing this in the current alpha 4.22 versions just to see how it works out and um, if I ooh. okay <laughs> well that crashed anyways if it works out then I will be um, putting it live with 4.22 so we'll see anyways I'll talk to you later